Hi everyone, this is Glenda from Beads Gone Wild and I just wanted to do a quick little video on how to do odd count peyote. As you can see I have a strip here of odd count that has uh, two up beads and three down beads. So I'll go over later how to start it, an easy way to start it. But right now um, on this end, which is not the tail end, you do just a regular turn around to continue your peyote. So I'll do this. And what happens is you get to the last stitch and that is here and you have nowhere to attach it. So it's three little steps you need to attach it below the one you're uh, the one you want to put it on going in the opposite direction and you go down one more bead and when I say down I mean towards the bottom of the work when you pull it through this bead will sit where it's supposed to. But now our goal is to have our thread coming out this bead going that way. So to do that from where I am, make a U-turn to the bead above, plus go down one again towards the bottom of the work. Then we make one more U-turn and we're going in the right direction now to continue across the row. Do our two stitches, turn and come back and you just do that at the same side all the time. So a few more things about the Odd Count Peyote. One is if you know how to change a thread in Peyote you easily know how to do the odd count peyote. A lot of times people ask why would I want to do odd count peyote? And the answer is so that you can have a center line if you have a pattern that needs to be um, centered. Now this one I'm gonna I'm going to do a little with a different color so you can see it. Again, I have nowhere to hook it. I'm coming out that bead. So I hook it to the bead below and go down towards the tail one more bead. Make a U-turn. I'm coming out of this bead. So I go to this one and go down below the one I just added and back through here so now I'm in the right direction to go across again. Now that's just one of the many ways to do it. There are several other. It all just depends on what you're trying to accomplish and you know what you're going to do but this is a very secure way and if you hold on one second I'll show you a quick and easy way to start. Okay, I'm going to start. I've picked up five beads, which is an odd number. And that's what we would use to do our odd count. Pick up a bead. Oops, sorry. Skip a bead, go through the next bead. Hold on to that bead. Pick up a bead pull the tail and the working thread tight, skip a bead, go through the next one. And right off the get-go you have this last bead here and it's nowhere to attach the next one that you're going to put on. So the one thing I like to do that just makes it a little bit easier, it's not always so easy to do if if you are reading a pattern though, you have to do some adjustments, but I just uh, will still attach it to the bead below. 
and do a little bit of a square stitch around these two just to secure it. And then actually I'm just going to start working from the other end and there I, I can just start now. I've actually flipped my work around. So this works really well if you are doing a single color, um, whatever, but now you just flip your work around. And now you start as I showed you at the beginning of the video. Another way to do an odd count turnaround that sometimes people like to do, you, let's go real quick, do our two beads on this row. And right now I have eight Odelicas, so it's pretty wobbly with the thread. That's why it's not holding very tight. But we go one, two, and I can do the other way, which is to pick up a bead, go under the thread over here. Let the bead fall into place and then come out the bead. I don't like this as much because it does tend to bulk up this side. But if you're going to be putting some edging on or some picots, you know, it's okay. So there's a couple ways to do your odd count turnaround. Thank you so much. I hope you subscribe to our page. And check out our Beads Gone Wild kits at BeadsGoneWild.com. Thank you.